the Joe Rogan experience. All they have to do is have a good yeah. headline. The inside of it can be nonsense, and they can even show you in front, right in front of your face, why what they're saying is incorrect, and it doesn't matter. And yeah. then they all bitch and <laughs> whine, and then they go, "Why is no one watching our content?" No. Well, here's the wildest one that's going on right now. You know the Mar-a-Lago controversy of the the price pricing or the uh, the inflated value yeah, of the, the house. Yeah, the yeah. Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. They, the judge ruled that it was worth 18 million. It's 20 acres in like the most expensive real estate in that area. Mm. Like a house down the street from it, much smaller. So just sold for $50 million. Wow. Even if Forbes said it's worth somewhere between, I think, see if what Forbes said. I think they said it was worth between 300 and $700 million. And uh, they were saying that it's worth $18 million. <laughs> <laughs> It's like they don't even try to pretend. Yeah. Like why, if, why does no one the trust guy, the mainstream? If the guy says his house is worth a billion dollars, right? Yeah. And then you come along and say, no, 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 it's worth like eight hundred million. Forbes says it's worth as much as seven hundred million. We're gonna, we'll call it seven hundred million. Now you got a reasonable argument. Yeah. But if you say eighteen million, like you got to know that's like a palace. <laughs> the place is a palace. It's twenty acres. Get the fuck out of here. This is great. You can't do that. That's like too obvious. That you're just you don't give a fuck about the truth. You they don't, don't. You don't give a fuck about the truth. Oh, he claimed it was worth 1.5 billion in I, latest plea to drop fraud case, but judge ruled it's wildly inflated. Yeah, but the judge does not have a, a, an accurate sense of the market in my opinion. It just the, the property size alone. It's such a giant chunk of property. Uh, you know, so that says it's worth somewhere about half a bill, right? Yeah. Is that what? Is well, that what he, that's? Saying? No. See, so he said the judge was saying that it's worth between eight. Oh, it says okay, um, citing an appraisal report from the city of Palm Beach that pegged the value of Mar-a-Lago between eighteen million and twenty-seven point six million between two thousand eleven and two thousand twenty-one. Oh, right. Okay, so it, it was eighteen million, and now it's worth because of inflation, twenty-seven. Um, 325 million, that's how much Forbes estimated Mar-a-Lago is worth as of September. Although we peg its net value at 292 million after deducting roughly 33 million in debt. Okay, so it's got debt. So I think what, this, what they're saying the scam is, is you wildly overinflate a piece of real estate. Again, I don't know jack shit about real estate. All right, just to, just, mm -hmm. but I think what you do is you say, I got a house worth a billion dollars. Mm -hmm. I need a loan. Mm. And they, yeah. they give you a loan based on this billion dollar property right. you have. But if then they send an appraiser to you and say, hey, but this house is worth 18 million. Then you're like, uh oh. So now you really you got a loan, but you got a loan based on something that's not really worth as much. So their collateral or whatever it is, it, it would, the reason why they would give you that much money doesn't make any sense. Mm. Yeah. But clearly that can't be accurate. If you're seeing pictures of that fucking place, yeah. show some photos of Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> if that was 18 million, dudes would be buying them every day. It, right. That would it would last three seconds on the market before somebody bought it. People would just be calling up. The phone lines would get jammed. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Sight unseen. I'll take it. Yeah. 18 yeah. million? Or I mean, even 27 million. Calling a 1.5 billion is a Trump thing to say. <laughs> <like that. laughs> well, it's my it's the favorite thing. House. My favorite thing about the whole speech. Is he talks about himself in the third person. The judge hates Trump. <laughs> so he keeps saying, I man, mean, that is a, that's a nice it's house. Terrible. It's, it's a nice a gaff joke. <laughs> fucking palace, man. Look at that place. It's Gina. insane. And yeah. the inside of it is all like, look, click on that photo of Trump there with the chandelier. Look how fucking beautiful it is inside. Man, that is ridiculous. I mean, look, maybe it's me being a Brit, but I look at it and go, it's a bit fucking much, that. Oh, it's a lot much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my style. That oh, looks like look something out of a Russian czar's house, yes, you know what I mean? Yes, that's what I like about it. That's what I want Trump's house to look like. If Trump lived in some bullshit fucking log cabin, I'd be so disappointed. Right, right. If Trump lived in, like, fucking John Dutton's house on Yellowstone. Yeah. What are you that, doing, that, bro? You should be balling. That's yeah. on brand, as yeah. we say. That's on brand. What a yeah, house, Look at man. the size of that property. Yeah. yeah. So those little houses around there are selling for, like, $30 million. Wow. Like, that's crazy expensive property there. Yeah. To think that that's only worth $18 million to 27 million that's that seems a little insane you know the thing that always gets me man is like you uh, you read in the mainstream media and they criticize our podcast and, and your show and and, the, and then they go these people spread misinformation i'm like mate like, what, what are you talking about you've been spreading misinformation from day one you know what i mean yeah. it's like getting a lecture on dating from ted bundy you're like mate come on you, 
Yeah, it seems crazy for them to keep harping on that at this point. It's like, don't you know about the internet? <laughs> like, you know, people have made, they've made like compilation videos of you guys being wrong over and over and over and over and over again, and you've never apologized for it. The, I mean, whatever you want to talk about, whether it's the the Russia collusion thing or the saying the dangers of Trump denying the election, then you show like how many people denied Trump's election. Right. Yeah. Was the, call them the illegitimate president. Hillary called him an yes. illegitimate president. Yeah. They said he stole the election. Like it, that kind. Of, if you think that's dangerous from him, then it's dangerous from you too. And we should all acknowledge that we should try to figure out a way to make the elections as fair as possible. Mm. My real fear is that not everybody's on board with that. That's my real fear. I would love to believe that everybody on the right and everybody <laughs> on the left just wants a fair battle. And they just want to be able to speak their mind to the public and have the people choose. That's what I would like, like to believe. And that we would like to encourage all Americans to vote. Everyone should just get informed and go out there and give your opinion. And let's see how the country feels. Yeah. But I don't know how much shenanigans is going on. You know there's a little. You know mm -hmm. there's a little collusion between, you know, social media companies. We know that now. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary that you would think that what you believe is so important that you're willing to manipulate an election. That scares you. It's yeah. just, it should scare us because it's like, man, they could use that on you. I mean, we could have this. Imagine if there's like we have this fucking amazing person who's running for president and like finally – all rational people in the center, people that are rational on the right and the left, agree this person has the country's best ideas in mind. We've made like awesome progress with the way this person is communicating with everybody. And it seems like they could really unite us. And they get fucked. Somebody comes in and just manipulates it, doesn't mm. like the idea of some new person taking charge, doesn't like some like, the idea of some radical thinker who wants to try to make things as good as possible for the, the whole country, and that maybe there's a way to do that. And they get fucked by some establishment spokesperson because they know how to manipulate the system. And look at the thing, the people that rise to the top in the current system in your country and in ours. I mean, the idea that these two people, whoever they end up being, if it's Biden and Trump, let's say, these are the best people out of 320 million fucking people. Well, the thing about Biden is he's already won, right? So he is the president. So yep. it only makes sense that he runs for president yep. if he's physically capable of doing that. The thing about Trump is there's, you know, the narrative that he and a lot of his followers put out is that the election was rigged. And that, you know, he should be the legitimate the legitimate president mm. anyway. And no one else is – there. no one's voting for anybody else. Like the, these hardcore Trumpers, they're, they're going to go all in on Trump. Mm. So it's like, okay, how else could it be other than Trump versus Biden? Unless they arrest Trump, unless they figure out a way to make some of these charges stick. And here's the thing with Trump, you know, you know – to him, this, isn't, this is no longer a presidential race. To him, this is existential because this is probably the only chance he's going to have of avoiding jail. So you look at it like that and you think Trump is already a guy who, let's put it bluntly and mildly, will do whatever it takes to win. And if you put a guy like that and you say the only way that you're going to avoid jail is to win the presidency, you're already notching it up a few ratchet when it comes to making the atmosphere really toxic. And you can play that argument the other way. I mean, in terms of Biden and the investigations that are happening, Donald Trump gets elected, what is he gonna do? That They, they would argue that too, right? Yeah. yeah. The Biden thing's fascinating to watch people to ignore it. Did you see Noam Dwarman's interview with that guy? Uh, did, no, I did you not. You never saw, oh man, it's a, Noam Dwarman from the cellar, from the comedy cellar. Oh, okay. He had a guy on his podcast who he built up as like the most sane, a guy who says that the Hunter Biden thing was a nothing burger. And they went round for like an hour and the guy just would not. It, it was the craziest thing that I've ever seen. I'll send it to you. Okay. Yeah. It's a journal from the Washington Post. Yeah. 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 And he thinks it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But, but when, when. Is he doing mental gymnastics? Yeah. So when Noam essentially corners him and goes, no, no, look at this, look at this. The guy just, he, he just, he wants to leave. That's it. 